Terrifying acts of recklessness with potentially fatal consequences. Debris, including cinder blocks, hurled at unsuspecting drivers from highway overpasses. Tonight, police are saying it's lucky no one's been killed. Good evening, I'm Zoraida Allman. There have been at least three reports of thrown debris in just a matter of days, all taking place on the busy 401. That's where we find CTV's Miranda Anthistle tonight. Miranda, you spoke with one driver who narrowly escaped something catastrophic. That's right, Zoraida. So Chad Charlemagne was driving along the 401 just under this overpass that we're on here at Progress when a concrete block smashed through his roof. Now, he had just dropped off a friend and police say if that person had still been in the passenger seat, there's no doubt they would have been killed. I was just shaking up. I was like, I almost died. Chad Charlemagne saw his life flash before his eyes after a concrete slab came crashing through the roof of his Jeep while he was driving on the 401. All of a sudden, a big bang came down and smashed into my car. Basically, um, I thought it was a bomb. Charlemagne escaped with no injuries. He was just passing under the Progress Bridge Sunday evening when the concrete block fell through his roof. Now, police are warning the public about two more similar incidents happening today, farther west along the 401. The first this morning at 11.15 at Young Street, and the second an hour later at Warden Avenue. In all these situations, uh, cinder blocks or, or big chunks of, of rock or stone have been thrown or have fallen from the overpasses. Police say witnesses saw a man at the 401 and Warden overpass, but there's little other suspect information. They say it's incredible no one was hurt in any of these incidents. And this is something that's very concerning for us. The fact that we've had three incidences already in the last couple of days. Uh, fortunately, no serious injuries, but it's only a matter of time that if this continues, someone will get hurt, someone could get killed. The city should put cameras on these bridges, something like that, because we have to catch these culprits because this is not good. This is not safe. You're playing with people's lives. The suspect or suspects could face charges of mischief and criminal negligence. The OPP is looking at dash cams as well as footage from the MTO. They're also appealing to the public for help, asking anyone who is traveling in the area when and where these incidents took place to please contact them. Reporting live at Progress and the 401, I'm Miranda Anthesol. Zoraida, I'll send it back to you.